Hi, this is Ken Krushka again. I have some uh, little thoughts that have been in my mind about typewriters the past few days, and I thought maybe I should uh, go over them with you all quick. Uh, this is a Smith Corona clipper. I just saved it from being butchered. Uh, in the picture I saw on the internet, it had the wooden block even. Well, that's a factory shipping block. This thing may have never been out of its case. And, of course, it comes with its original case, but... Both shipping blocks are in there yet, so I don't know the year on this yet. Uh, I'm just getting the feel of it, making sure that some of the things are what they said they are, and of course all the keys move and it shifts. So um, I was impressed by the picture, even of the platen in its condition that it's in. But the threat was that the person was going to cut the keys off of this for jewelry or art, and that's what they're doing. If you look on the internet eBay, anything, you'll find these old floating shift keys and, and many other old ones are being turned into art. And what they're doing is they're ruining, when they cut these off, they're not just taking them right at the base or anything. There's a stem under them. They're ruining the typewriters for people who would want to restore them. And they're doing it for things like $5.99 of shipping and we'll, you know, cut the keys off. It's, it's almost like a threat there. Uh, leaving short stubs on them. Um, I almost threw up reading that, so I, I felt I had to save this one, and I can't save them all, but I just want you all to be aware that that's what's going on, and I'll keep you posted on this one as it goes along. Now, another thing I wanted to cover was, you know, finding out your words per minute typing. All you have to, you don't have to pay somebody to tell you this through a typing course or something. You just watch the clock in the corner of your computer screen and go into the word program or look at your, you know, time it on your watch. Type accurate words and see how many words per minute you get. Um, another, another concern of mine lately has been discerning years of these Smith Corona electrics. Uh, Cornet Electric 12 here. This is this is kind of like what got me into this hobby, this one here. I bought a parts typewriter for next to nothing. Um, it came with the case and the original owner's manual, and I had to switch the platen on this guy anyhow. So uh, it was cheaper for me to <laughs> buy a parts typewriter with everything I needed and, and utilize it here. Plus, you know, you gain the experience of taking it apart before you put it together. <clears throat> so, but also, so many of these type are misyeared in references. And yes, the serial numbers are not so good after the 50s at telling you exactness on things, at least from the sources I've seen. Um, but what I do is I start looking at old magazine ads. I have a couple of, of printouts here. They're not in color, but like just by looking at the same model shape, year um, coloring, it looked like 1970, 71, and 72 fit this profile shape and such. When you start going to 69, 1969, this is all in a different writing, so obviously we're looking at a something a little newer than 69. And when you start getting into 73, 74, there are big other differences. Like, this will be rectangular um, instead of this triangular. So it's not hard to kind of just discern by looking at old magazine ads through different sources, Google Images, so forth. And you can kind of figure out what year you've got by that. The, of course, this manual works for all of them, and that's that's a reference for the 1960s one right there. Uh, but it's all the same, except the faceplate. So if you're actually looking for the year, it, it wouldn't matter what typewriter, bicycle, I don't care what you're looking for. Start looking at old magazine ads. Cost nothing to do, and it's a great reference. Well, that's been my uh, tips for the day. Take care, everybody.